Hello, hello everybody. How are we doing today? We are gonna be making the um, recipe you guys voted number one this week, which is the Southwest Chicken Bake. I don't know the exact name of it, cause I'm not looking at it right now, but I'll be able to tell you in just a second as my iPad loads. So yep, yeah, the South Baked Southwest Chicken. So that's what we're gonna be making tonight. It looks really yummy, it looks really, really good, but it also looks pretty healthy. So that's always exciting too. Um, I know some of you have started some diets in the new year and are keeping really strong with that and that is awesome. So we are gonna try and help the best we can by making a healthy, dinner choice for all of us. Hello, Heather, how are you doing? So I'm gonna share this live video to my personal pa Facebook page and some cooking groups, and then we will get started. And don't forget, you guys, I am using our Truff hot sauce tonight. So if you are interested in buying yourself a bottle, please use my promo code, and it is in the description of this video. So if you tap my face, oop, our oven is ready. If you tap my face, the promo code um, should be in the description of this video. So. If you want to share this video on your personal Facebook pages as well, I would appreciate it. Just don't share um, it as a watch group because then I cannot talk to the people inside of the watch group. And if we hit our 40 live viewers that stay there for long, longer than five minutes tonight, we will do a giveaway and they can't get entered into it. Thank you, Heather. I rarely wear this one because sometimes it looks goofy with the, the taller shirts that I wear. So I thought I'd pull it out tonight and wear it so that it gets some use. I am just sharing this, you guys, into those cooking groups. Um, along with that, I'm in a Truff um, Sauce VIP group. So if you guys are Truff Sauce lovers as well, join that VIP group and we can all hang out and start this recipe. So this is our baked Southwestern chicken. Um, there are a couple um, different options and variations that you can do with this recipe, which is awesome. Um, what I like about it is you do have the ability to dice your chicken up smaller so that it doesn't take as long to cook, so that it's actually ready um, for, the, for dinner for the table uh, faster than normal. Um, hello, Bill. And Mallory, thank you, you're so sweet, Mallory. Hello, Cindy. All right, you guys. So, I'm gonna get our recipe pulled up. I've never made this before, um, and I'm really excited for it. Good afternoon. T, thank you, you are so sweet. You guys are so nice, so many compliments, I appreciate it. All right, so earlier today, if you saw the status that I posted, I took my two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast and I diced it up and then I marinated it in a fourth of a cup, no, half of a cup of truff sauce. So I used half a cup of a truff sauce. Um, I don't even think you need to use that much to marinate your chicken, but I wanted to make sure um, that it really got nice and marinated. So this is the sauce that I'm talking about, my white truff sauce. I used it in our chicken tortilla soup the other day, and now we are gonna use it in the Southwest chicken bake. Good evening, hello you guys. Thank you for enjoying my show. Um, I appreciate it, and thank you guys for hanging out with me on a consistent basis. Um, what I also did, the reason why I diced it up, not only for the speed of cooking in the oven, but I mean the more surface area of the chicken that this truff sauce gets to marinate. So my main, um, oop, it's kind of on the outside of the bag. Um, I was thinking about it last night and I was thinking about the seasonings that went into this dish. And I normally am not a huge fan of using cumin in anything that's not taco meat because it reminds me so much of taco meat. But this sauce has it cumin in it and you can't, it doesn't taste like taco. So that was my main reason for switching the sauce for all of the seasoning and spices that we would normally use on our chicken because it basically has all of that in here. And then I don't have to, you know, put a dry seasoning or dry rub on our chicken breast. Hello from Illinois. Good evening, Chris. How are you? 
You guys, I'm so excited. This is gonna be awesome. So we are gonna get started. My iPad isn't loading like I wanted it to. But good thing I put this in a bag, in a bowl in my fridge because it is leaking outside of the bag. It must have a hole somewhere. Okay, so we will get started. We need to dice up. So normally at the beginning of this recipe, they would have you combine all of your dry ingredients for yourself to create almost like a rub. So you're gonna combine your garlic powder, your cumin, your salt, and your pepper. All a fourth of a teaspoon except for the, the garlic, you are gonna do half of a teaspoon. And you would just combine it in a small dish and set it off to the side. So that's the one step that I'm not doing because I decided to marinate my chicken in the trough sauce ahead of time, all right? Heather says, hello, hubby. We have been busy this afternoon cleaning the house. It had been kind of neglected over the winter months. So I am taking my red pepper and I cut off the top of it, as you guys can see. And then you just kind of pull on it gently and it pulls that center core of seeds out because you don't really want those in your, in your red pepper in this chicken dish. Then what I do is I dice it in half. So let's scoot you guys. I don't know why you guys can't see me. Okay. Then we dice it in half. Then I just kind of go through it and get these lighter veins cut out because they hold some more seeds and you don't want those. Ooh, I'm throwing my pepper. And you guys don't want those inside of this dish. I mean, it won't hurt you, it won't kill you. It just doesn't add anything to the dish. It doesn't have any heat or flavor to the seeds inside of the red pepper. All right, so we dice that up. It says we need half of a red pepper diced up. So the other half I will give to my kiddo to eat because he love, love, loves peppers. So I'm just gonna dice it up. I'm gonna keep it fairly big because I really, really love the taste and the color of red bell peppers in my food. Um, I'm back. You're back? Yeah. I was just talking about you. Uh, I, if you're I, new here, that is my son Kingston coming to hang out with me in the kitchen. Mom, can, yeah. I, can I have another? I was just talking about it. You want this pepper? Yeah. Yep, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I don't eat it for the recipe. All right, so half of our red bell pepper just roughly chopped up and I'm just gonna throw it into this dish right here and we are gonna use this dish to combine the rest of our ingredients hello hello Roxy and Jamie hello from South Carolina all right so now we are gonna combine our corn it says in there to refer to the note and I forgot to type the note up the note is you can use whatever corn you want canned corn frozen corn fresh corn you name it so just strain out the juices from the corn. If you are using, woo, tripped over a puppy. If you are using canned corn, you don't need all that extra juice in there. All right. So we just need a cup of canned corn in here. So I'm just gonna go like this, measure it out, cup of corn. Then we also need a cup of canned black beans, rinsed and strained. You guys remember, I learned this last time that my can opener is actually made to do this. And I was using it wrong the whole time. But I have to remember to crank the can opener the right way to get it going. All right. Here we go. And he gets to avoid all the sharp edges. Awesome, awesome. So we are gonna go over here. Do the kids ever cook with you and help in the kitchen? Yes, T. Um, some of my recipes and videos that we've actually done live here, Kingston has helped us. So I'm just gonna run some water into this can of black beans and strain it out. Just rinse them off and strain them. I kind of just let water run into the can and then let it fill up, kind of swish it around and rinse those beans out. It 
If you guys are new here, you will learn that I do not skip any steps. I do them all live with you guys here on Facebook so that if you feel so inclined, I do post the recipe a couple days beforehand so that you guys can cook with me while we hang out in the kitchen. Laura, I am so glad you didn't miss me either. Um, T, if you look up the recipe of my blueberry puff, um, breakfast bake. Kingston was in the kitchen helping us chopping up croissants and sprinkling blueberries and all sorts of fun stuff that day. Um, I think he even helped us crack a couple eggs. So he does hang out with me in the kitchen. Um, a lot more obviously when I'm not on my cooking show. So he's not, um, not doesn't feel so shy. Not but. Crack the egg. I'm, I'm just, probably be fishing yeah, he cracked the egg and it splattered on his face and it just was, was crazy. So we have our black beans that we've rinsed out and we sprinkle those in there. So it's about half a can of beans, half a can of corns, just regular black beans, nothing fancy, nothing special about it. Um, so we have our cup of corn, cup of black beans. Now we need a can of our diced chilies, which is just this little can of diced chilies. There's a couple of different brand names that make them. Um, I've used them all. They're all pretty um, similar and competitive in taste and flavor. So it's just to eat your own, whatever brand you like using. Oh, my can opener doesn't want to work now. Sometimes I can get it to work and sometimes not. I feel like I clamp it on backwards maybe. Maybe I need to do it this way. I'll learn, you guys, one of these days. I'll figure out how to use my own can opener. It's new, because my last one wouldn't work. Yes, T, you definitely have to check that one out. Yep, now it's not working. Now I'm spinning off the thing. Hmm, bummer. All right, you guys. One day I will be smarter than the can opener. But until then, I'm gonna do the old fashioned way that chops this can and causes dangerous edges but it's what I have to do Thank you, to get this can open. Is there any more? Yep, right here. He's coming back for more bell peppers. So we're just gonna dump that whole can in there. They do make um, different strengths of these green chilies if you want it hotter or more mild. So I just went with the mild can so that it's not too hot for the kiddos. If it's so hard when the camera, I flip the camera so you guys can read the stuff, but then it's backwards to me, so it's hard to show it off. Hello, hello, 100 viewers, you guys. So we have now reached 100 viewers, which means that we um, have already earned two giveaways at the end of my show. If you guys keep hanging out for longer than five minutes, we will do the two giveaways at the end of the Bye -bye. show. All right, so we have our green chilies, our black beans, our corn, our half a diced red bell pepper. Then we are going to do a fourth of a cup of chopped cilantro. And if you guys hung out with me on one of my re previous recipes, you guys learned that I found the most amazing cilantro hack ever. And this is it, you guys, and it is awesome. It is chopped up cilantro in a tube. Um, the conversion, I know you guys were a little worried last time because I was just squeezing a whole bunch into my recipe, but the conversion is equal parts to equal parts. So we are gonna do just a fourth of a cup of cilantro, just squeeze it out into here. No chopping, no keeping fresh herbs around in the kitchen for them to expire. Um, super awesome, found this you guys, where um, my salad is at my grocery store, uh, my minced garlic, things like that. It's kept in the refrigerator section over there with the salad. I'm looking to see expiration date in May, so it lasts a couple of months. Super awesome, si time saving, I highly recommend it. Hello Lacey and Brie. Patty, thank you for sharing. You guys, share this live video to your personal Facebook pages, cooking groups that you're a part of, mommy groups you're a part of. Let's get these views out here. Um, we are, have marinated our chicken tonight in my trough hot sauce. So if you guys are interested in trying this out and buying yourself a bottle, I do have a promo code in the description of this video. If you tap my face, the promo code is there. It's Hungry Boys 10 and it will save you 10% on um, your hot sauce if you order it online. Super awesome, awesome deal. So I'm gonna just mix it up. You guys, it smells so fresh and so yummy. Super good. 
So we have our green chilies, our corn, our black beans, our bell peppers, cilantro, and now we are going to scoot this stuff over. We are gonna pull our baking dish. You can use whatever size baking dish fits your chicken. I do recommend that you use a baking dish that is a little bit bigger than your chicken breasts if you're going to cook them because this recipe will let off some juices. And the bigger dish you have, where it allows that juice to spread out and evaporate as it's cooking, so you won't have to deal with a um, juicy mess. However, if you are baking and it does create that juicy mess, uh, I don't even want to call it a mess because the person that wrote this recipe says that that juice is amazing if you end up making um, a bed of rice to put this chicken on. They said it is amazing to drizzle that well-seasoned, marinated juice that runs off of your chicken to pour it over to your rice and flavor it like that. So, I know, Meg, it has been forever. Hello, how are you? Thank you for hanging out with me. We have been through so many recipes since you first supported me um, back in October. So we have our baking dish right here. I'm going to take our pre-marinated chicken, you guys. If you missed the beginning of the show, I did marinate this instead of dry season. So instead of putting salt and pepper and garlic powder, and what is the other ingredient? Ooh, my drawer doesn't want to close. So instead of using salt, pepper, cumin, and um, garlic powder, I did use my truff hot sauce instead. So I marinated this, you guys. I just um, cut my chicken up so that it would cook a little faster for us because we are hungry and we don't want to wait for dinner. So I'm just using a slotted spoon and I'm going to be spreading our chicken out. I'm really, really excited for this, you guys. I think this truff sauce is gonna make this dish even more delicious and flavorful. Um, my husband absolutely loved the chicken tortilla soup I made with this truff sauce. He texted me the next day, said it was even better, reheated in the microwave, and that, um, that he called dibs on our leftovers and that I was not allowed to give any of the leftovers away, which I am um, famous for around my house. Um, when people come over, I give them food. So he called dibs and would not let me give it away. So I'm just doing one layer of our chicken, trying not to overlap it so that it bakes evenly. Hello, Harmony, how are you? And now all we're gonna do is we are going to just Sprinkle this mixture on the top, kind of spread it out so that it is almost a protective layer on top of your chicken. Nothing fancy, nothing special. Just kind of slop it on there. Um, if you have your chicken breasts, just focus on covering your individual chicken breasts. You don't necessarily need it sprinkled onto your pan, but just cover the meat itself because then we are going to use our cheese to then cover this and kind of lock it all in together so that it cooks and bakes into a nice mixture. So I asked my husband what we should serve as a side dish with this. And he said, honestly, he didn't think it needed one. However, we are gonna make one anyway, just in case we do get a little extra juices since I'm baking it in a pan like this. So I'm just gonna make just rice a -roni, easy, um, cheesy rice on the stove to put our chicken on top of. So if you wanna do cauliflower rice, if you wanna do brown rice, Spanish rice, um, quinoa, whatever you guys like, if you wanna do mashed potatoes, you name it, it will be good. I just know it. Laura, you did not miss me. Hello, Nina and Tina. Harmony, I'm so glad you guys caught me live as well. Evelyn, how are you? It looks so good, you guys. We have our chicken in here that was marinated in our truff hot sauce. Now we have our corn and our beans, our pep green onions, our peppers, all that fun stuff is in here. Now we are gonna take this. It says to use a cup of our cheese. So I'm gonna just kind of wipe my measuring cup out a little bit. I'm gonna sprinkle this cheese in here and I just use this as a rough go by. They say about a cup on your dish. So I'm gonna just sprinkle it. I might end up using just a little bit more since my dish is spread out, but it looks like it might be enough. I love cheese. So what I love doing is adding more to my dish. It's a, it's a habit of mine. 
So if we are dairy free, I'm sorry. I love, love, love cheese. It looks so good. Um, we're using Colby Jack cheese, you guys. It is specific in the recipe to use Colby Jack. However, I think a pepper jack or something like that would be absolutely amazing. So we are gonna bake uncovered at 375 for 40 to 50 minutes. Because my chicken is diced up, I am gonna cut that time to um, only 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna check on my chicken, see if it has come to temperature. Um, I am also going to keep an eye on my dish to make sure the cheese is not getting darker than I would like it to. Um, they do recommend that you leave it uncovered for that same reason that I was talking about, that this dish will let off juice and if you cover it, it will capture that juice and that condensation and you will get a very soupy mixture, which isn't a bad thing. However, it's just not what this recipe is meant to be. So 375, setting my timer for half an hour. And we are gonna let that bake in there, you guys. Oh man, you've got cats in heat. Thankfully, I have got my cats fixed. They have their claws, but um, one of my cats went into heat and with my dogs around, it was, a, it was a weird mixture. So we did get them fixed, or neutered, neutered, fixed. I never remember which one's the dog and which one's the cat word. Ha, ah, Newfoundland, Canada, hello, hello. I did have another watcher from that same area. Actually, she won truff sauce herself, so that's kind of cool. Hello and welcome, you guys, and thanks for hanging out with me. We have our dish, it's in the oven, ready to go. I will post a picture when it is all done and ready for eating, and I'm really excited for it, you guys. But we are gonna try and blast through this giveaway really quick so that I can start making our rice dish for our dinner tonight. So, my son is upset, my husband is still cleaning, and he would rather um, play with daddy. You don't really like cheese, should be fine to do everything the same and just not add the, add the cheese at the end. Tea, yes, you should be fine not putting the cheese on the top. Um, you can definitely bake it like that. If you are not a cheese fan, you guys, that dish is gonna be awesome in itself and then you won't have to worry about over browning or melting your cheese. So I definitely think you will be good to go, Tea. Amber L, Crystal S, Heather F, you guys, if I say your name, I have entered you in and you don't need to comment again. Um, if you are commenting and I don't read your name, add an emoji there and it sometimes helps with the filtering. Also, um, just not commenting your name and saying something to me personally helps with the filtering as well. So Amber L, Heather F, Lacey, Lacey W, Jamie W, Marissa D, Sue B, Harmony V, my son is so upset. Harmony V, Alice C, you would think it would be just as good. I think so too. Um, Kara, Crystal S, I did get you. Crystal C, well, I did get you. Kara H, Nina H, you guys remember, if you want this hot sauce, please remember to use the code HUNGRYBOYS10. Alice Corey, I've got you. Hello, Beth from Jersey. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you are new here, I am Riley, R-Y-L-I-E, Mom Fueling Hungry Boys. I started this back in October, and I'm not a professional chef. I just love what I do, and I love teaching other people and sharing recipes. Jody H, Beth T, Sarah M, Sharon L, Roxy B, Brie, it is yummy, yummy, Crystal Hoffert, got you. Jessica Craft. So we have had one winner for the month of February. So if you were the winner of the month of February, you cannot win again until next month. Jessica K, Rachel S, Beth T, I've got you, Beth T. I've got you from Jersey. Denise B, I've got you now. Meg. Mego, I got you. I'll put Mego. Dinner smells delicious, Amber. It was nice seeing you today and talking a little bit. Kylie B, Betty K, I've got you guys in here now. 
Beth, I do see you. Beth, I've got you. I see a couple of comments, but I do have you entered in here. No matter how many times you guys comment your name, once I get you entered in, that is the only time. So, Tracy, I've got you as well. Bernie F., Kyla P., Kara, Trevor's watching with me, but we're watching on the same phone tonight. So, Trevor H., I love it. It's like a family get together now. You guys can hang out and either cook or sit on your couch and watch me. Renee, I've got you, Renee. Rosemary F. Um, no, Hungry Boys 10. Hungry Boys 10, you guys. Not the um not the word 10, but the number 10. Hungry Boys 10, Beth. Thank you for asking. Tracy F, Rosemary F, I've got you. Linda B. Linda B, you'll have to let me know if you can use the can of corns and beans instead of just, Charlene, I don't see there being a problem. If you want more beans and more corn in there, I don't see an issue at all adding them. Um, obviously with the corn, you will have more water to evaporate, but like I said, it's not a huge deal. It doesn't water it down at all. Those um, spices are there and it just makes that um, that juice that comes off just almost like a, like a gravy or a au jus of some kind. Linda B, Charlene Feldall, I've got you. Kyla, it does look so yummy. Kylie B, I've got you. Jasmine, Stefan, hello, I do have you as well. Deborah K, oh, Trevor's on his own phone now. Trevor is on his own phone, hanging out and watching us. Deborah K, Thelma Power, have you gotten your hot sauce yet? I meant to, I thought of it today and I was gonna... Gage and Kosh, no. I thought about checking the shipping and then I totally spaced it. So let me know if it finally made it. If not, um, I might have to send him another email asking him where it went. So Thelma, Gigi Goff, Jill P, Becky G, Rosemary Forbes, I've got you. Rose Crow, welcome back. Um, I do want to say... You guys, I am having um, a couple of issues with people watching my um, replays, which is awesome. I love that you guys get on here and you watch after the fact. Um, it just, sometimes people don't realize that it's a replay and then they send me angry messages. Not angry messages, but kind of um, upset messages that I didn't see their name and I didn't enter them in the giveaway. But obviously if it is a replay, it's not live and I can't enter you in if I don't see your name. So just make sure that if you click on my face and you can forward, um, fast forward or rewind, you're not live and you can't be entered into the giveaway. So if you are watching this and you can fast forward or rewind, um, it's not live and you can't get entered in, but do check me out when I am live to get entered in. So I did get you, Caitlin. Oh, Rose Crow, Laura K. Um, I believe I've got you, Laura K, but I will double check. Yep, I've got you, Laura K, so you are good to go. Um, Alicia H, Shannon Sweeney. Welcome back, Shannon Sweeney. Patty, hello Patty, your second time watching, thank you for coming back, Shauna W, I've got you as well, Shauna W, I did have you already, I accidentally entered you in twice, Shauna W, Beth T, it's okay Beth T, you are alright, you are okay Beth T, all right, we're going to keep going, Beth T, Darlene, hello, Darlene G, um, Sasha McDonald, I did get you, Kara, it really is a family affair here, we watch you together all the time, and we just got your truff sauce, what color did you guys get, did you get white, black, extra hot, let me know, um, I've only tried the white so far, but I love it, Lacey, yes, this dish is going to be so yummy, I'm very excited, so, um, I will let you guys know how it is. Patty Lynch, I wish you could smell it too. Not here yet, Thelma, that's no fun. I will check on it. Marissa D, I did get you. Jamie Mims, hello, hello, Jamie. Abby B, 
Lorna, thank you for sharing, Lorna B. How long will your hot sauce be available? I don't get paid until 14th, but I want to purchase some from you. Um, the code is going to be active, I think, until they tell me it's not anymore. So as long as people keep using it, I think they will keep it active. Um, I will let you know if they give me some sort of cutoff date of when it's not going to work anymore. Can't believe people send you emails. And I don't know if it's really angry or more just confused if maybe there's something she's missing or not doing right, um, but it does happen sometimes. Um, sometimes people reach out to me um, sad that they haven't won yet. And so, you know, it's just typical stuff. No worries. Um, yep, Meg, so you'll just purchase it from the site using my code and then and then it, they will be able to see that my fans are buying it, and then, yeah, it'll be exciting, you guys. So Jody L, I believe I got you. Thank you for sharing. I think we are good to go. I'm gonna read through the names, and then we will do our giveaway after that. So I've got Jody Lynn, I've got you. Kara, you got the black and the hot, hotter sauce. So let me know how they are. I only have the white one. Um, they should be glad. Yes, thank you, you guys are sweet. You used your giveaway prize tonight from January and it was delicious, even though I left the melted butter in the microwave. Gel, way to go. I have done that before. Laura G, you love my cooking. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. I am going to... Um, I am going to read through the names. If you still don't hear your name, please comment it with an emoji or a special note to me, and we will get you entered in here. My website is mfhungryboys.com. My recipes are on there. My videos are on there. Check it out, you guys. Um, also, if you tap my face, the bottom of the description of this video has my website, my Pinterest, my Instagram, things like that. Um, Crystal S, Amber L, Heather F, Lacey W, Jamie W, Marissa D, Sue B, Harmony V, Alice C, Kara H, Nina H, Tracy K, Beth T, Jody H, Sasha M, Shara, Sharon L, Roxy B, Bree T, um, Crystal H, Jessica K, Rachel S, Denise B, Mego, Kylie B, Betty K, Laura C, Bernie F, Kyla P, Trevor H, Caitlin O, Renee M, Rosemary F, Tracy F, Linda B, Charlene F, Jasmine S, Deborah K, Thelma P, Gigi Goff, Jill P, Becky G, Rose C, Laura K, Alicia H, Shannon S, Patty L, Shauna W, Darlene G, Jamie M, Abby B, Lorna B, Laura C, Ashley H, Jody L, Lori, Laura G. Bill, I thought I said it, Bill. I think you may have commented right before I said it, Bill. Because I believe I did. Bill W, double check. So many names, you guys, which is so awesome. Okay, Bill W, I've got you in here. Lorgy, all right, you guys. Last person is my dad. Dad, will you pick? Two numbers between one and ten. Oh, okay, my son wants to pick the numbers, you guys. All right, Kingston, come here. Okay. All right, come here so that they can see you. I'm gonna check on this chicken really quick, you guys. Ooh, it smells so good. Okay, Kingston, come right here so they can see you. This is Kingston, this is my son, my oldest son, he's four, and he is gonna pick two numbers for us. The mac and cheese Jamie Mims is to die for. Laura C, I will check while he picks two numbers between one and 10. Can you pick two numbers between one and 10? Uh-huh. Okay, pick them. One and 10. No, that's what you're gonna pick? Yeah. You don't wanna pick any numbers in between there? No, any numbers. So you do you know what the numbers are between one and 10? Yeah. Tell me. One, two. Keep going. One, two, three, four. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. All right, so you want one and ten. Those are the numbers you want? Uh-huh. You got it, babe. All right, you can go back. All right, you guys. Yes, Laura C., you are right. I have you in here twice. Thank you for being honest. Everyone said hello, Kingston. Hello. Renee. Yes, I saw your comments, Renee, unless there was something besides you commenting your name, because I did say your name, and you are in the giveaway. 
So unless you ask me a question that I did not see, but everyone said hello, Jill, Nina, T, Amber, Tammy, Bill, Laura, Lorna, Renee, I did see your comments, Heather, Laura C, I did have your name twice. All right, so one and 10, Laura, thank you. I appreciate it. I don't wear this one very often. So one and 10, and thank you guys. He is a sweetheart when he wants to be. He's kind of got a rotten spell recently. You guys, this is starting to smell really good. <laughs> I must be really hungry. All right, so his numbers he picked one and 10. So we are gonna set our names in here. If I pull your name out, I will remove it to keep the odds in everyone's favor. So if you see your name, you won't see it again. Number one is our first winter winner, winter, <laughs> Sue Bailey. Last one to comment, he is so handsome and she is a winner winner. Sue Bailey, just message my page, your shipping information and I will get something sent off to you. Sue B. So number two, Crystal H. Number three, Bill W. Number four, Charlene Feldahl. Number five, Betty K. Number six, Tracy F. Number seven, if your names are spelt wrong, I'm sorry. Sometimes it autocorrects. Number eight, Alice C. Number nine, Alicia H. And our winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ready? Caitlin O. Caitlin O. Please send my page your personal shipping information and it will get something sent off to you. I use Amazon Smile, so a portion of um, what I buy you goes back to the Alzheimer's Association, you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I will post pictures when the food is all done. And then um, check me out uh, tomorrow. We're going to do an extra special show because you guys loved both recipes that we put up for a vote so much this week that tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to come on about noon Central Standard Time and we are going to put in our, beef, our ranch beef stew into our crock pot to let it cook all night long. So if you got your crock pot, get the ingredients and we are going to make a beef stew tomorrow noon. Hang out with me. You guys, if you want to buy this Chuff Hot Sauce, please go to their website or their Facebook page. It is tagged in the description of this video as my partnership. Go to their page, hit shop now, pick out the sauces that you want. They come in three packs, one packs, big bottles, little bottles. Um, and then use my code HUNGRYBOYS10 at checkout and it will save you some cash, you guys. So today I used the white truff sauce. It is a special limited time winter sauce. So I will let you guys know how awesome it is. I am so excited. I am going to let you guys peek in my oven to see this yummy dish. The cheese is getting all melty. It smells really good. Almost smells like enchiladas right now, which is delicious, you guys. Sue, you don't know how to contact me. I will send you a message if you don't figure it out. But um, there are several ways. If you go over to the community tab or the about tab, I mean, the about tab on my Facebook page and you scroll down, there should be a send message option. So, Nicole, I'm so sorry too. The, the meal is super awesome, super, super delicious, super easy to throw together. It takes maybe five, 10 minutes. That's it. And then you just bake it in your oven. Thank you for hanging out with me, you guys.